Hey, it's Rob, and welcome to Axel's Garage. We're in the kitchen again because it's cold out, and it's winter time. And that's when we do a lot of product reviews, gear reviews, tool reviews, things like that. And when you have the opportunity to get your wife something that you can actually use when you need to in a pinch and do a review on something, you gotta take advantage of those moments. So it wasn't that long ago. What were you doing, lady? That you needed a screwdriver, you needed something? She was at work and they needed a, a small screwdriver or, or something and she didn't have anything. And, and what did one of the, the teachers had or what did they have? Um, a little... Uh, like a little Swiss Army knife? Yes, that was it. Swiss All right, my wife comes home and she says, you know, we had to put a screw in or do something or tighten a, something in the classroom and so-and-so had a little Swiss Army knife. Um, it would be good to carry something like that in my pocketbook, she, she goes. Well, you, you call it a pocketbook bag? Big handbag purse. Handbag. You, don't, you don't use purse anymore. No. I don't think they use purse anymore. Anyway, so what? What do I think? Like a, a small multi-tool is what I'm thinking. Um, something with it, with maybe a knife, something with a scissor, something with a little pliers. Something you know, she's she's fairly handy when it comes to tightening something or fixing something. And yeah, the dogs. She's cooking right now and preparing dinner. So the dogs. There's one dog on one side of the counter, one dog on the other side of the counter, and they're they're begging. So anyway, we ordered this, did a, little, did a little bit of research, not a ton of research, but I, I, kept, I started watching some videos and looking at some reviews on small multi-tools. And the problem with the, the smaller multi-tools, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say a full-size tool, but you know like the regular standard size Leatherman or Gerber or multi-tool like that, those standard size ones are a little big and heavy for... I, I have one, and she knows the size and weight of it, and it was a little big and heavy for her. She goes, no, I just want something small in my case I need to screw something or tighten something or cut something. So we decided, I started looking at the, the small ones, and the small ones don't seem to do anything well. Every small one we looked at didn't really seem to do a whole lot well. There was one that I'm thinking about made by the same company, but I saw this one. This one's about the size of a, a, of a, a permanent magic marker. So it would go good in her handbag or bag, or bright bag lady, or whatever, whatever that she carries with all her stuff in, because it would sit right there. It's about the size of a permanent magic marker or like an EpiPen, if you know how big an EpiPen is. And she keeps an EpiPen in her bag, so that, you know, when I told her it was about that big, she's like, oh, that, that's not too bad. So we wound up here, and it's the SOG. It's the Q3 Baton Multi-Tool. So I'm gonna move the camera so that you can see what I'm seeing. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna see what it's all about. All right, so sliding out of the plastic overlay is the tool. It seems like it's got like a, an oil residue on it. Definitely some kind of, some kind of light, like a mineral oil. Got a little insert. So it's got a little instruction sheet on how to unlock, close, and open. So put that to the side. That's it. Put it up next to my phone to give you a, a, a reference on size. So it's just a little, of course, as soon as I start talking, the dogs start talking. It's a little longer than an iPhone. Put it next to this old Leatherman. All right. This is an old Leatherman Super Tool 200 that is probably. About 25 years old right now and I did carry this every day for over 20 years all right and if you open the Leatherman up just for argument's sake it's a little bit longer than this Q3 baton they're calling it so they say you pull it apart all right and it's got a spring action all right, it's got a wire cutter, it's got a pliers in it, and it's got 
a needle nose and the tip comes down pretty pretty small I would say about an eighth of an inch on the tip which is pretty good and it's got that spring action which I actually like it the way it feels all right and then when you want to put it back together you just open it all the way and slide it back together so now we'll see about getting some of the tools out so they, there's a little groove here for your fingernail to pull the tools out and you got a a small flathead eyeglass size screwdriver which will come in handy because I could see my wife using that to tighten up her glasses or my glasses um, now let's look at the press and hold lock release so that's they're saying that that's this you gotta press this okay and it goes back down so that's locked that's locked and if you press it this part pops up just a little bit and you can close it now just for argument's sake if you have it locked and you pull another tool out that does unlock it so now our second tool on this side looks like an awl it's a small awl fairly sharp our next tool here is a Phillips head this one looks a little a hair more blunt than a number one but not quite as blunt as a number two so I bet this is one of these one two hybrids that a lot of tools have been coming out with it could be a number one but it just doesn't seem as pointy as a normal as a normal number one Phillips head but it's an actual four-sided Phillips head which I like because a lot of the small multi-tools had that angled flat head that was supposed to take the place of a Phillips head which I really didn't care for on this one this looks like a scraper a chisel kind of scraper it is very sharp and I wonder in a pinch if you had to use it as a wide flat blade screwdriver you could, gonna mess that edge up but it, it does have a nice sharp edge for a chisel or a scraper almost like a, a razor scraper that's very sharp too all right going on the other side all right you got a knife not too long let's see according to my Leatherman measurement the knife is about two inches long and you have a file that has two sides one side is is just grooved in one direction and the other side is grooved in a cross hatch the cross hatch is definitely rougher than the other side this side's not really rough at all but this side's got a little bit of bite to it we'll have to have baby mama over there try to file one of her nails with that and see what it's like all right so this you got your flathead screwdriver on your kids get a kick out of when I when I call this a a church key all right because that's what I I know it as but it is a bottle top opener I think people are saying a bottle top popper I always called it a church key and then on the last one you have a can opener and you have a, another small looks like it could be used as a small flathead screwdriver right there but it's a little blunt but you can get away with a, a, a small flathead screwdriver with that and it's got a a belt clip if you choose to use a belt clip so everything locks they unlock when you when you pull another tool out or you press the the lock unlock device here you can see how that works 
on both sides and then when you pull it apart turn it out you got your wire cutters your pliers and your needle nose Now, can my wife take it apart? Let's see. For the people. See the people. Okay. All right. So, this is it. It's got a, it's got a little clip if you want the little clippy. I don't know if you can clip it in your pocket in your bag. Otherwise, you just lay it in the bottom of your bag. All right. Pull it apart, and it becomes pliers, pliers which has got little wire cutters. Mm -hmm. It's got like a thing where you could grab something like in here that's round see yes, and, that part. Fired before. and then it's like a little pointy ones all right so you pick something up like you know, all right and then you slide it back in and it goes away now on this side you got your eyeglass screwdriver right. you got a little oil that you could use to to stick into something when you put them all these in and one out it locks right you could use this to like stick into a hole if you had to make a hole a little bigger or something twist around it's got like a little blade a cutting blade that cuts like around right. now if you want to close it you press the button here you can see how that little thing mm -hmm. and it closes or you just lift up the other blades and it'll let you close it so then the third thing here is phillips head screwdriver mm -hmm. right so you Yes. Right now, if you want to close that, you can press the lock to close it, or you can just lift up the next one, anything, and it'll close it. This is a, no, it's a chisel. It's a sharp, like, scraper chisel. So you can actually, like, oh, look, there's a, look at that. There's a piece of scotch tape on the counter, and you can actually, ooh, it digs into the, you got to be yeah, it's very sharp. Ooh. Wow, Did you cut yourself again? No. <laughs> that is sharp. All right, and then you close it up. Now on this side, I want you to explore to make sure you could open them up. Explore that side. Now those those are the one thing we're supposed to grab. Oh, not right there. No. See how they got like a little. Room. There you go. That's the knife. That's the knife. Grab the knife again. Yeah, but with your thumb going towards the knife. So the second one is a file. Now you're a nail file person. Tell us about the file. It's got that's that's an aggressive well, side. I don't have nails that I file. I get but it, done. it's got a, a more aggressive side and a lighter side. Yeah. Is that lighter side good for anything or too light? Too light. What about the other side? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, there you go. Not the best, but it'll do a three and a pinch. Okay, so then the next tool. Let's put these down before you to. cut yourself on something. I cut myself. Bottle Not today. Opener? Bottle, or what do you call it? Church key. Church key and? A flathead screwdriver. Flathead screwdriver. I knew that. Good, now close it. You gonna hurt yourself with this? No. I'm doing fine. This is like a bottle opener too. No. Oh, a hole, it makes a... Yeah, and you could open a... Oh, a can, can. Opener. Oh, a can opener. That's what I was, that's what I was looking at. Okay, yes, I got it. Very cute. An oldie fashioned can opener. Very cute. Which good. I probably never use, but... Happy? Very happy. Happy? Good. I'm happy. Alright, now close it using the lock. Let's see if you can use the lock. The unlock. There you go. Yeah, and then this way you go like this, and then you go like this, and then you go like this, and then you go like this. All right, excellent. Not too big, not too heavy? It's a little heavy, but it's fine. Not as heavy as my Leatherman, right? What do you think? No. No. Not at all. It's doable. It Thank seems you, like dear. It's, it seems like it's, it's quality made, right? I like it. It seems it's it's heavy, but not he too heavy. Should get himself one too. No, I don't. I, I want a small. I want a small multi tool. Okay. Oh, but this, yeah, you can go. Say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. I like it.
She gave it the stamp of approval. She can open everything in and is able to use it. Mission accomplished. It's got a little bit of weight to it, not a lot. It's definitely not, uh, it doesn't feel like a cheap tool. It feels like it's halfway decent. About, I think it was about $35 on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Let me know if you've used these or let me know more importantly, if you got a, a mini multi-tool that you like, that you carry and it's not too heavy and you like it because we're trying to do our research on that because that's what I need next. Because this, it just doesn't fit my lifestyle really anymore. It's a little big, a little heavy. This, baby mama likes. That's all we got for today. Baby As mama always, stamp of approval. Baby mama stamp of approval. As always, thanks for watching.